Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Fallout London where we're still in the Swan and Meter. So that's uh continue your on. Keys, or you'll mind my bullies. Oi oi, if it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you up. Wait, why do you call yourself why do they call you Johnny Shrapnel? It's cause of this little beauty I've got lodged in me skull. A reward for some dodgy demolitions testing. But that's just how things go sometimes when you're a professional bomb maker. No pain, no pain, eh? Your vet says I need to get it taken out before it kills me. But I say nah. Makes me sharper, this does. Sometimes you need a little reminder that if you don't put your life on the line, then maybe you're not really living. And I'm sure there ain't no lead in it. Mostly sure. Can you tell me more about the Vagabonds? The heroes of London we are. Protectors of the peace, defenders of the downtrodden, all that sort of thing. Well, that would be nice if it were true. Fact is, the dogs have been doing us dirty for a long time, and every week feels a little harder than the last. We'll pull through though, we always have. Right? Why can you tell me about the Isle of Dogs Syndicate? Bunch of traitorous little shits is what they are. You can't trust them. We've been stuck in a bloody war with the Syndicate ever since the Red Treaty. And at every stage they keep beating us back. They're led by a chap called Thomas Black. And he's got more smarts than a lot of us put together. No matter what we do, he's able to outmaneuver us. Most everyone here has lost someone to him. For some here, revenge is about all that keeps them going. What do you think about Sebastian Gaunt? What are you asking for? Not some Syndicate spy, are you? You keep your nose to yourself. I need to find a battery to fix Blind Nelson's radio. Bullet 2 said you could help. Could help, sure. But I've got my own problems to worry about. Listen, give me an hand with something delicate and I'll see what I can sort for you. Mickey's been having a barney at me for blowing up his hat. And yes, yes, I did blow up his hat. And don't you mind how or why. But at the end of the day, it's just some damn cloth. Right? Well, fancy pants Mickey don't see it that way. And I can't keep going on with him giving me the evil eye all day. He's freaking me the fuck out. So I found him something to make up for things. But if I go trying to give it to him myself, I just know I'll say something stupid and ruin it. Why don't you go have a go at delivering it for me? Make him accept the damned apology and I can sort you out with a new battery. Okay. So, let's go find Mickey. There he is. Why it my way, you wouldn't dare show your face here. Hello, Gov. My name's Mickey. Can I help you with something? Johnny Shrapnel said he blew up your hat. He asked me to give you this as an apology. So that shrapnel brain pillock thinks he can just fob me with some token. That was my favourite hat he ruined. Tell him to fuck off. Come on, he's trying his best here. He seems really sorry. Does he really? That's pretty new for Johnny. Well, all right then. I'll take his apology if it means that much to him. Thanks, Gov. Watch your back, because I can see exactly where my knife would fit. Alright, so let's go back to Johnny. Hey, you get Mickey to take the gift? Yes. He took it and he said he accepts your apology. Smashing. I wasn't sure how that would go. I'm glad he didn't try to kill you. Now, you wanted a battery for that radio. Give it here and I'll see what I've got. Blimey, this is old. Where do you even get something as tom tit as this? I'll have to wire up a couple of nine volts to get this to work. Let's see. Here you go. All done. And thanks once more for your help with Mickey. would be nice. For us, of course, but for Blighty too. Well, let's go see Nelson. You got the radio, Dana. This next one is another Seth Benson yes, classic. Yes, here it is. You took your damn time about it. Where'd you go to fix it? As a buy on? I mean, well, you actually. Better late than never, I guess. Cheers. Don't know what I'd do without this. Now, let's have a listen to what's happening out in the smoke.
Okay. <laughs> IODS and Millwall, be there. We're going to send a message to these two-bit punks. Nobody bombs a syndicate train station and gets away with it. Oh, for fuck's sake, turn that damn thing off. Why would you even bring me this stupid radio anyway? You were just trying to upset me, weren't you? Where's Yvette? She's the one who vouched for you. I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Are you really blaming me for what's on the radio? You must have been listening in the next room before you brought it over here. How else would that news have been so perfectly timed? I'm on to you, Labret. Are you kidding? You know I went through to fix that damn radio? Oh no, did Baby have a hard time with their tinker toys? Why didn't you say so? Take a seat, I'll have one of the lads pour up a warm glass of milk to calm your delicate nerves. Where the hell is Yvette? Daycare is over. She's got to pick up her little ankle biter. I haven't seen Yvette since I first got here. Ah, that's right. She left in a hurry, said she had a mission of some kind. Oh, God damn it. You all right? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. Hey, listen, mate. Sorry I lost it on you a second ago. Y you did good with the radio. I need you to do something else for me now. Something much more important. If it's for your vet, I'm happy to help. Oh, how sweet. You're just a little sweetheart, aren't you? A little cutie pie that likes to cuddle up in a bubble bath and write their feelings down in a diary, eh? Dear diary, today I met a mean old ghoul with a knob the size of a cricket bat and he bullied me for loving the vet so <laughs> goddamn much. Well, I think I might have another cry about it. Is that you then? Rhetorical question, it is you. <laughs> You're all I've got I at the moment, so I'm going to need you to load up your dainty purse with supplies and head to Millwall to make sure Yvette hasn't done anything too stupid. She's got roots there. And you don't need to be Sherlock fucking Holmes to figure out she's going to make sure that poor soul headed to the hangman isn't one of her people. Bring Yvette back in one piece and I'll make it worth your while. What's your vet's history with the syndicate? I don't know the whole story, just what I've been told. She had a brother once upon a time. Apparently he found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time, and the syndicate did what the syndicate does to rival gang members. Turned him into kibble. So, obviously, she has a bit of an axe to grind, but so does everyone else here, so who gives a shit? Just another syndicate sob story. Join the bloody club. Anything in particular I should watch out for? Millwall is absolutely lousy with syndicate dogs. You can't throw a bloody rock without hitting one of them and it bouncing off and hitting a relative they're shagging. If they find out you're with us, you'll be ripped apart by rabid dogs before you can say Bob's your uncle. You should be fine because you're a fucking nobody, but regardless, you should keep a low profile. Tell me more about the syndicate. Scum of the fucking earth. Calling them the Isle of Dog Syndicate is an insult to mutts everywhere. Isle of bloody sheep shaggers and pikeys is more like it. Just saying their name puts a bad taste in my mouth. It weren't always like that, though. We used to be allies, right up until they plunged a knife in our backs and stole what's rightfully ours. They took almost everything. Our territory, our rackets, Gabriel. The bastards brutalised him. He were my best mate. And he made the Vagabonds a name to be feared in East London. But he's the one who made the mistake to trust them. I hate to say it, but he brought it on himself. And, by extension, all of us. Anyway, listen to me going on like a chatty housewife after Sunday service. All you need to know is the Syndicate is bad fucking news. Keep clear of them if possible. 
Who is Gabriel? Gabe Gorn, Seb's dad. He were our fearless leader until he decided to trust the dogs. Led us through the first gang war years back, he did. He were an incredible strategist, ruthless. But deep down, he wanted to see the good in people. A right foolish mistake in times like these. Paid for it with his life and the lives of most of our men. We came up together. He really was the best man I've ever known. But he's also the reason we're having this conversation in the dilapidated old pub as the vagabonds scrap and claw for even a fraction of what we once had. Needless to say, my feelings about him are a bit complicated. That's what happens when you trust people. Ain't that the bloody truth? In this world, the only person you can trust is yourself and your mum. That is, unless she's gone feral like my mum. But even then, you can at least trust her to try to chew your face off while you're sleeping. So how are we getting back at them? Have I been talking to myself? Or did you not hear the part about this gang having trust issues? There is no we until you've proven yourself beyond the shadow of a doubt, lab rat. Find Yvette, then we'll talk about the coming of we. Let's talk about something All else. Right. All right, I'm in. Head north to Millwall and don't come back until you find a vet. Tell her blind Nelson's looking for her. The fastest route across the Thames is through the Greenwich foot tunnel. We need the numbers. Touch me again and there'll be consequences. No, the Wombles. <laughs> Just wish there was still in England. Must have been so nice back then. That was Miss Beth Bell with Bell Always Be in England. You're on the bed, and this radio station is classic. If you fancy topping up my coffers, head over to me and have So let's see, where are we going? and Millwall. That is Canary Wharf. Let's actually have a look at our map here. That is Westminster. That's Trafalgar Square.
I used a lot of bullets. Thanks for that one. Freshly squeezed. Oh, Nuclear Winter is up next. You know, that thing that probably happened when the entire Earth turned to glass. This is that place uh, I think we cleared out. So, let's actually just see if there's some like, ammo and stuff. That was a completely useless box. Well, you better be useful. Just more pre war money. Yes. 
loved you my heart was a grave I buried your future there is again that is so about You enjoyed that last song. Gavin Boldero did us proud. Hope you enjoy this next song by Glenn Hollands. any money. I don't like that sign. Oh god, we've got rats. Thanks for tuning in and listening to that one, ladies and ladies. That last song was Radiation Get Away by Ben Hopkins. I just want you all to know.
quickly apply some first aid. a really good foot tunnel. Oh, this is actually horrifying because we are under the Thames. Okay. Ah, God, that's a lot of water. That was self defense. Oh, that was awful.
name this next one as I've no idea what's beyond it, but I promise it's a good one. Okay, so we're now north of the Thames, where are we supposed to be going? Just a little further up the Isle of Dogs, okay. Right, we can't go around there. I've already stopped that. It's up there we're going. Can get to it up there, okay. Just straightforward. More bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything. Oh, hello, stranger. How wonderful to meet you. Lovely day, isn't it? Yvette, why are you talking to me like I'm that? Sorry, it's mate. me. I think you have me mistaken for somebody else. Nobody by that name here. Uh, yeah, there is. Your name is Yvette. Blind Nelson sent me to come get you. You okay? You're acting I've weird. I've never heard of such a person. You must be mistaken. Now, please stop talking to me before someone overhears us and gets the wrong idea. Oh, I see where you're go. What you're doing? Got it. Uh, never mind then, I must be thinking of someone else. No problem. That was the best of us. So, what brings you here? One of our old friends sent me. I want to make sure you're alright. Well, you should go tell your old friend that I'm fine and I don't need some fresh faced lab rat to babysit me. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I'm rather busy at the moment. There's some place more private we could talk. Wait for it. Wait for it. And we're clear. Finally, that bloody guard moved out of earshot. We can drop the charade. Do you have any idea the amount of danger you put us in just now? Never mind. There's no time. I'm actually glad you're here. I was just about to sneak into where they're holding Uma and try and break her out. But it's a suicide mission without a proper distraction. the structure we talking about I don't know the kind where all the guards are paying attention to you and not me and the prisoner sneaking out the back door use your imagination I think I can do that sounds good bye Distraction. <laughs> right, 
Right, so we have to do that whole cutscene again, I'm guessing. Such a charmer, that Seth Bentos. Dang. Yeah. Overall, really. Either way, enjoy this track of the same name. All right, let's quickly run up there then. Rather quick scape. Let's get some toughness. My health is a little bit. More bodies getting shite done never at anything. Oh, hello, stranger. How wonderful to look like a really Oh no. I miss I messed up there. <laughs> I accidentally pressed attack. I did not mean to press attack. Stranger, how wonderful to meet you. Lovely day, isn't it? I'm sorry, mate. I think you have me mistaken for somebody else. Nobody by that name here. I've never heard of such a person. You must be mistaken. Now, please stop talking to me before someone overhears us and gets the wrong idea. No problem. That was the best of us. So, what brings you here? Well, you should go tell your old friend that I'm fine and I don't need some fresh-faced lab rat to babysit me. Now, if you'll please... Wait for... Finally, that. Do you have any... Never mind. I was just about to... I don't know. Sounds good. Bye. You've got a slap in the face, you know that. Okay, escape to the Vagabond safe house. Where is that? It is south of the Thames, okay. I hope you all enjoyed that last song, Geiger Counter by Cat Douglas, as much as I did. Now then, I suppose I better make me ready. Here's a little story for us, The fifth column wants you to join the fight against the group. Gentry, right? Okay, I said it. No. Daddy, sweet music, make love to it. Did that make sense? Boy, the listeners enjoy that track. Okay, I'm stuck behind a hedge.
this time. Okay, so we're going back through the third tunnel. I feel absolute terror in doing this. Because there are gonna be so many myelurks and radiation. Okay, that's the rats. I am taking the rat axe. Oh, we made it through. <laughs>
danced with the ghost. Yeah. Oh, that's all. And yeah. have I atoned the sin of my own? I carry a gun. It's not just for fun. And now seeing the sun is a time. song is so old, it makes ghouls look young. Oh, it's a simple guy. Hello. 